Right. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you with a tomatin, and it's a special tomatin along with my special Sherbert shirt. What is it? Tomatin, cast strength, bourbon, and sherry cast. Glad you can say all that because we're going to test it Sherbert style. Cast strength style. <laughs> I knew you were going to come in quick. All right, here we go. This is, now I haven't seen this in our area. I picked this up in Dallas, Texas uh, when I was down there working on Relatives Fence. And then I made the trip up to Iron Root to see Eric Waite when he was there for the tour that he bid on and won during our fundraiser. That was a surprise uh, visit you did. You so I, I don't know, I think this is relatively new to Mark. I mean, it's, you know, a couple months now. Sure. And I, like I say, I still haven't seen this in our market the here. The softer so I don't side know. of the islands is what it says. Yeah, and I, uh, after our tour of Samatin. I'm a bigger can, fan. I'm a bigger fan. I'm just going to say it right now. So I don't know where, you know, we'll give it a fair yeah. look. Yeah. More? Yeah. Oh, that's not enough. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You want here? Yeah. Just go straight yeah. from there. <laughs> yeah. um, so, um, if you get a chance and you're anywhere near Tamatin, which is near Inverness. I was mm -hmm. talking to uh, one of our coworkers that is, uh, he's Scottish. And I told him I loved Inverness and that we would like to use that as a base mm -hmm. for future distillery tours. Yeah. All right. Malt, Tamatin malt. Ooh, Boy, you talk about grassy. the- Grassy. Yeah, that 12 year maltiness. Yeah. Whew. Jumps out and grabs your nose it does, hair. It really does. It now, we said cast drink. Did we say ABV? We did not. Um, do 50, 57.5. Okay. okay. Uh, it is a non age statement. They do not have an age on here that I know of. Uh, if it is, it's not prominently stated. And it's bourbon and sherry casks. So, I mean, you know, think Balvenie, double cask. Uh, Abelauer does a double cask. Probably, majority of the time, it's probably bourbon cask, a couple years in a sherry cask, would be my guess. This is the part where your skills are way overtaking mine. You just off top, off the cuff, like blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, man, I couldn't have done that. You could have given me a piece of paper and a bubble sheet SAT style, and I would have been like, mm -mm. And you, they would have been like, community college, that's where you're going. Tomatin, maltiness, yeah. grassiness. Malty, grassy, There's some caramel. Uh, burnt caramel. Huh. Almost like the, uh, the barley was burnt, maybe. I mean, maybe it's a uh, charring from the cask. From the uh, bourbon barrel, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Hmm. A little bit of darkness, uh, dark notes. Maybe that's some of the sherry. Yeah, a little bit of uh, dark fruit. Not much. Hints. Ooh. Does a little dance on my tongue. <laughs> Does a little tingle dance. <laughs> it literally went, -la 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 -la, mm. and, then it, and then it moved. Mm. That's interesting. I definitely get... That, that sherry wine mm. in there, the raisin, the plum. Mm -hmm. mm. I thought it was going to lean touch of sour, and then it didn't. It went that way, and then it went, nope, nope, mm. Mm. nope. Yeah, that, the, I'm going to have to come back to that. What I would say is the classic tomato character mm -hmm. shining. Yeah. Um, when, it, when On first sip, buttery. Almost like an really? Irish whiskey buttery. Huh. So I got the dance. Mm. It was like mm. the ABV dance. Mm. <laughs> it, still, it still feels like a little bit of burnt barley almost. Just like there's a little bit of smoke in there. There isn't. I mean, there's no, they're not peating anything in here. I don't think does, Tomatin doesn't do any peating, do they? Well, the uh, Kabokan. Oh, that's touch. true. Yeah. That's true. It's light though. That is interesting. Mm. I see what you're saying. That's interesting. With the barley being burnt, almost right. maybe toasted. Maybe, how about yes, a toasted like barley? A, or a toasted barrel, maybe. I don't know. Mm. That's interesting. Wow. So there's a bit of a, there's definitely a dance between the bourbon barrel or that burnt barley flavor and that sherried plum. The finish is plum, faint, light plum for me. And it lingers around, juicy. And raisiny, no plummy. The the hard part here is that open, because I'm I don't know if it's the 
alcohol that's dancing on the tongue or if there's something else going on. But there's a whole mm. lot of flash in the front and a nice, gentle, plummy finish in the back. You know, for 57.5%, pretty smooth. It doesn't feel quite 57.5%. And I'm going to add some water mm -hmm. to see what it does. I'm still getting that dance on the tongue, and I think it's the... Uh, I don't know what it is. I get a little tingle. Isn't that something? Up toward the front. I don't always get that. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know what that means. Yeah, the tingle. The tingle up at the it's front. It's like a little... It's like an effervescent sparkle. That's interesting. Citrus. Light. Lighter fruits. Think. Pears. Apples. Hmm. Lemons. Just light citrus sweetness. I'm bringing in a lot of water. Maltiness. The light, light sherry uh, notes. But a little bit dark though too. Almost like a almost like a burnt chocolate, a burnt toffee, a burnt barley. Hint, hints of. All right. Hmm. It's it's still a little sparky on the tongue, but I think some of that was ABV. The water brought that down a touch. But I still mm. get this nice tingle mm. on the side. Mm. Mid palate is that the char of the barrel or the smoke of the barley, because you're right. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. And then I get a little maltiness, and then we're into it again. We're into the plummy finish. Mm. That's good. Water helped, I think. Um, yeah, I, I'm, but I'm, I'm still in the fifty percent. I'm over. Uh, it's fifty-seven and a half percent out of the bottle. I'm I maybe lot. brought it down to fifty percent, fifty-two percent. Not much. I added a, a splash of water. So this is one I will. Uh, I mean, I'm doing it right here as we're filming it. But this is one I like. These where mm -hmm. I'll try it neat, and then a little water, and then a little more, and then a lot of water, and I'm bringing it down, and I'm seeing how it changes and softens and moves around, and then you can always. Slug that one down and go back and do it again. If I get too much water in mine, I usually just add another splash mm. of whiskey to it mm. and bring it back up. Sometimes I'll like to then pop back to uh, neat and then see what it does. Yeah, actually, I like this one with a lot of water in it. I'm getting just more of the plum now. So this is a non-age statement. A stone fruit. But it feels... It feels 12, like a 12-year-old. I mean, it feels like at least 10 to 12 years old, somewhere in that range. Hmm. It's got a lot. It's got a lot. It's packed. A lot, of, a lot of flavor packed in there. Some different layers. Some different notes. Hmm. Yeah. Speaking of layers and notes, what do you think of this manga shirt? It's a new one. I don't think of it. <laughs> you don't? You don't like that? It's like a peach shirt. Mm. That is good. Um, 91 hmm. on the tomato and cask strength. Eighty nine. It's interesting, and it's got. I would need to play around with this for a lot more and find out where I want it. Like, do I want three drops? What do I want? I would say we are on par because I would like to know how many videos I've gone a 91 and you've gone a 89. A lot. Is that bad? No, I think that, I mean, I think that shows your 89 is my 91. Hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> hmm. Scratching. I thought you dropped something. <laughs> I'm going to drop it. <laughs> Bring it down. Drop, drop it the mic. Low. All right, we got some sixty dollars. That's worth it. Actually, I think it was fifty-nine. That's very. Yeah. Can't believe you said it was sixty. <laughs> <laughs> you, I wanted to be truthful. You, yeah, you're leading the folks astray with that rounded-off number. That was. Yeah. How could you do that? <laughs> Not even factoring in taxes or anything. Yeah. Very well worth it, uh, and I will I'll pick it up again. Yeah, Patreon shoutouts. Do we want to bring them? We in? do have none. I did not think to pull up a Scotch Guide shout out, so we'll have to skip sure. that this yeah, time. We can, we can skip that on yep. this round. They got the the Sherbert manga. That's enough for a day. Now I get to say it. Yep. 
And he's a one dollar. Michael so. Porter. Michael Amen. Porter. Thank you. You about said that last time. I was like, no, I know. I kept saying one. Michael. Oh, and then you were yelling Graham last time. So Graham gets an extra <laughs> shout out this time too. Especially when uh, I looked and said, oh, I can say this one. And then I'm going Michael and you're going Graham. Go back and watch the, uh, was it the Dickel? Yeah, I think it was the Dickel. Yep, very good. Your recall is spot well, on. Not really. I had to look over at the bottle. No. <laughs> Johnny Michelson came ah, in as well. Is it Michelson? Yeah, that's Michelson. Yep. Thank Johnny, you, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it. We had a lot of folks come in this last month and, and help support us. Thank you. And then let's go here. Okay. One dollar. Okay. Another know, or third I, yeah. one dollar. Yep. yep. Robert Fiore. Robert Fiore. I came in. Yep. Fiore. And all these Thank people you. came in. I think we were in Scotland. We were in Ireland yeah. and or Scotland when some of these came yep. in. We had several come in when we did that first live in Isla, too, I yep. think. So. Yep. That was a good one. You had the and like we trip. said, really the Patreon support is what allowed us to go to Scotland for Completely. seven days. Wife so. would have killed me if I spent oh, yeah. money over there. She would have been like, really? And I didn't well, even have to go? We, well, we would have went, but the money spending would have been a lot less. Yeah, it would have been correct. It would have been like you have $250 yeah, total. Because <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't go everything. crazy. <laughs> we, we covered Roy's gas and the, the ferry trip and all the stuff that needed to be covered. Most of it. Yeah, Most. we chipped in on everything. Most. Meals, lodging, tours, all that. So. Got it. Um, if you're watching this before July 6th of 2019, that is when our twelve hour third annual 12 Hours of Boom will happen. Yeah, what is the boom? We do 12 hours, live streaming, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We break it into segments, yep. 12 of them. 40, well, we're, so we're live for 45 minutes. Yep. Take a 15-minute break. We yep. come back with a different guest and uh, go through the day. We That's bring right. in different people. So We control our sippage. Uh, it is not a drunk fest. We no. do a really good job of drinking uh, water and uh, having things to eat, except for the one time. If they, we've had two other prior shows. There was one where you were like, we need to order the pizza. And I'm like, shoot a couple more. We don't have time. Nobody's here to meet them. And then Whiskey Scout showed up. And then you were like, dude, when I call for food. We were on 15-minute break. You are like, when I say I need food, do I ever tell you I need food? I'm like, actually, you don't. That means I need it. And I was like, my bad. I don't even remember that. Oh, yeah. You were like, if I say I need food, I need it. And I was like, that one's on me. <laughs> All right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Just gonna nose it. Mm. Smells, smells very good. <laughs>